Autumn Melody of Love, Part Two. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I beg your pardon. Who are you here to see? I'm here to see Mrs. Ilyina about work. Just a minute. Mrs. Ilyina, there's a woman here about your work. Your ID? Here you are. Miss Nina Samokina. Yes, ma'am. The Ilyina Mansion, it's on the main road. The fifth house on the left. They're expecting you. Thank you. Good afternoon, Mrs. Ilina. Hello there. And how do you know my name? Uh, ah, Galina's told you. I see. Is this everything? Yes. Well, welcome. Here? Our humble house. We don't have a lot to clean, actually. But you are to clean it properly. Well, here. Come in. How old are you? Are you married? Have a seat, please. Thank you. 42 years old, single. You're over 40 and not married? I got divorced not long ago. What reason? Well, you found another woman, a younger one. Yes, sometimes it happens to them. And you just let him go that easily? They're expecting a baby. Let's talk about the housekeeping. Mostly, I manage to keep the house on my own. But this weekend, our daughter's arriving from England, but my husband and I are leaving for Tula. And there's no chance we can put it off. Uh, so I'm leaving my daughter with you. Of course, I don't know you at all, but... But I trust Galena. And she gave you a good reference. How old is your daughter? Fifteen, a late child. She studies at a private school near London. And how long were you married? We were about to celebrate our silver anniversary. Well, in general, it's good. It's a long time. So you should know how to cook and how to keep the house. Do you have any children? Yes, my daughter and granddaughter. Let me see your ID and health certificate. Here's my passport. One second. Here's a letter. I have to go to Moscow to pick up my health permit. Hmm. My husband and I are going to Moscow. We can take you. Well, all right. I'm hiring you. Is $500 enough? $500? Well, all right. $550. I can't pay more. Well, of course, board and lodging, too. Well, <sighs> is it a deal? Yes. It's a deal. Yes. Well, all right. The kitchen, your workspace. You have a spacious house. You think you'll have too much cleaning? No, I'm not afraid of work. And here is the master of the house. Let me introduce you to Mr. Mikhail Ilyin. Nice to meet you, Nina. Mm. Nina is our new housekeeper, darling. Mm -hmm. All right, I hope you're ready. Just give me a minute. <sighs> Nina, do you know how to make Russian pickle soup? Uh... The real one, Leningrad style, with meat broth, kidneys, uh, pearl barley, and pickled cucumbers, hmm? Of course I can. My wife can't do it. Cook it tomorrow. I've been dreaming of a real Russian pickle soup. Yes, of course. Bruin, I'm ready. Nina, go to the car. Yes. Hmm? <sighs> 
So you don't like my Russian pickle soup? the duvet covers, pillowcases and sheets, and the towels. Dirty linen is to be collected every other day, put it in the wicker basket. Mm -hmm. When I come back, we'll take it to the laundry place. There are two vacuum cleaners, one large and one small, you understand? Mm -hmm. Don't wipe anything with dust cloths. For that, there's an electric brush. Watch. <laughs> the bigger ones for the cobwebs. And the small ones for everything else that's small. Crystal, books, you got it? But where does the dust go? Who the hell knows? But it's definitely removed. So I was wondering, where does Mr. Illion work? He has a small holding. Mm. Let's go have breakfast. Mm -hmm. Good morning, Mr. Illion. Mm hmm. <laughs> Bruin, you're crazy. Pickle soup! In the morning? Mr. Illion, you should have told me. I would have reheated it. Mm. I couldn't resist. I wanted to try it. By the way, Nina, it's just the pickle soup I was dreaming of. Well, bon appetit. Thank you. Where is my buckwheat porridge and juice? I'll get it for you. The juice is ice cold. It's impossible to drink it. Heat it in the microwave oven to warm it up. Okay. Hello. The porridge smells delicious. Oh, hello, Lialia, hello. Uh, Give it to me. Just a second. <clears throat> Hello? Hello, honey. Yes, we're waiting for you. Of course we are. Of course we will. What? Okay, daughter. I'll definitely tell dad. No, oh, he'll be delighted. And does he have any choice? Bye. <sighs> well, Mikhail. Uh, Lialia asked us, to buy her... her own car. <gasps> Lealia really needs to have her own car while she's here. Well, does she want us to buy her a private plane, too? <laughs> she doesn't have the license to fly a plane. As far as I remember, she doesn't have a driving license. So then buy her a driver's license. First of all, I haven't agreed yet to buy a car yet. And second, do you know what you're asking? A car is not a tricycle. I'm sorry, but I have a car. That is, rather, I had... I have a license. Oh, can you really drive? And you haven't had any accidents? I haven't. I've been driving for five years. Mikhail, it's really great, isn't it? We have our own driver. I'll pay Nina $100 more for this. Mikhail, Mikhail. And what kind of car will you buy Lialia, hmm? The cheapest one, domestic make. Bruin, that's not funny. Okay, that's settled then. I'm going with you to Moscow. You'll go on business, and Stepan and I will go round car dealers. I'll pick a car, then I'll call you. You'll come and buy it. <laughs> we need to get an authorization for Nina to drive our car. Nina, you should do some cleaning because tomorrow will be a very hectic day.
Hello? Hello. Alexander? Yeah? Have you already been discharged from the hospital? It's Nina, your mother's friend. Is she at home right now? Yes, I'll put her on the phone. Mom! Yeah? It's for you. Someone named Nina. Oh, Nina. Nina, my dear. Good morning. How are you? Good morning. I'm so glad you are calling me. I gather Alexander is back home. Is he feeling better? Yes, yes, yes. They dealt with the seizure in the hospital. Now I'm packing his thing. He's going off for some rest. I'm glad that everything is fine. And how are you, Mrs. Rapina? Huh? Is your blood pressure okay? Don't be silly. Everything is fine. Nina, tell me, have you gotten a job yet? Yes, I found a job. I'm doing fine. Yeah, that's great then. Oh, I'm so glad you've called me. Well, when you're in Moscow, come around. You know my address. I do, yes. Come visit I'll definitely me come soon. Well, goodbye. Yes, okay. goodbye. Goodbye. Take care. <sighs> that was my friend Nina. Do you remember her? I do. Such a kind woman. Mom. Oh, my God, impenetrable. Where were you just now? And where's Nina? Cleaning out the car. How do you like the pickle soup? The pearl barley is hard. And how does she drive? Well, all right. Well, I'm really starving. Well, take the tray and go to your study and eat. You'll be in the way here. We'll be cooking dinner for Lealia. Go ahead already. Oh, my God. There's no place for me in this big house. Did you wash your hands? Yes. I've made you a list here. Look, here's what you need to buy. Oh, why so many things? Once you leave, it'll just be the two of us. It would be such a pity to waste all of this food. Don't count my money. I have one daughter, and I haven't seen her for a year. She comes from England. Should I feed her only your pickle soup? No. Well, why? By the way, sorry, but how should I address your daughter? What's her nickname? According to her passport, she's Elena Ilyina. At home, we call her Lialia. I see, OK. Come on, come on, come on. Prepare the dough. Yes. Get started. Yes, OK. I'll be back in a minute. I'm going to change my clothes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, so, and so. Mm-hmm. that lady? That's our new housekeeper, Nina. She'll look after you while we're away. Is that okay? Mom, do you think I'm a complete idiot or what? I mean, do you think that I can't uh, pour a glass of milk or can't make a bed by myself? Lealia, you should say for myself. It's hey, for, honey. Lealia, don't freak out already, okay? You'll like her, you'll see. Stepan, take these into the house, and then wait for us in the car. Sure. Again, no one opened the door for me. All by myself, all by myself. How do you do, Miss Selena? How was the flight? Oh, your English is perfect. No, I studied a long time ago. Welcome home. She'll do the housework, and then... Dad has bought you a car, as you asked us to. <laughs> yes? Oh, Dad! Nina will be driving you, okay? Mm -hmm. <sighs> but Dad, it's not a car, it's... it's a cockroach. Mom, I won't even fit in there. You'll take the back seat. Anyway, Nina will be driving I told you. It. But I can drive. Ivor taught me. You know that I was racing his minicar around Corkum. You aren't going to race here. 
or I'll take the car keys back, and you'll walk everywhere. Is that clear? I have enough problems without yours, too. Let's go have breakfast. Lealia, later, later, later. Nina, is everything ready for us? Yes, of course. Why can't I drive on my own? I have personal things to do. Shopping, the salon, visiting my friends, after all. Don't worry, we'll talk to Dad. Oh. <laughs> mm. <sighs> ah, let's dig in. But, Mom, I do not eat this. The Alia. You're home now. Please speak like a normal person. <sighs> Mom, I don't eat this fancy food, and I'm on a diet anyways. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And what do you eat, then? Well, mm. low-fat <sighs> cottage cheese, yogurt and kefir, skin-off chicken, some lean ham. Uh... Lealia, you are all skin and bones. You're so skinny, your ribs show. I'm not going to change my habits. I've entered, by the way, the third stage, consolidation. Lealia. Well, all right. Getting stronger. By the way, the hardest one. Well, okay. I'll have a bath. And you, Nina, please cook something from this list. I'll be eating later. Lealia. Lealia, come back! My god, everyone is crazy about these diets. Crazy or not, go ahead and clear the table! Stop. What do you mean, clear the table? I'm not dieting. And you sit down and eat. We're leaving soon. Mm. Mm. Do whatever you want to. Thank you, Nina. It's delicious. Bon appetit. Tasty? <laughs> yeah. Have you been working here for long? It's my third day. <laughs> Do you know where my father keeps alcohol? Excuse me? I'm asking where my father keeps his booze. I want to celebrate my coming home. But are you even 18 years old? Why do you care? What do you do here? A housekeeper? So go keep the house. And go clear the table. Isn't it a little early? No, it's not. Make some coffee and bring it upstairs. A big cup, is that clear? my darling. No, I miss you so much. Yeah. <laughs> bye. Bye-bye. Put it over there. Hello, Dinka? <laughs> I know. Yes, I arrived today. Listen, where do you... Wait a second. I'm sorry. Where do you go to hang out in the evening? Well, okay. See you later on tonight. At nine, yeah. Kisses. Prepare Dad's cockroach for the evening. We'll go to the nightclub carousel. Do you know where it is? I don't. Maybe <sighs> we shouldn't go today. You can rest. I'll rest while I'm there and have some fun. Wait here. For how long? Maybe an hour, maybe two. I'll see how it is. I'll have a few cocktails, listen to music. I might stay until the morning.
you freak! Get your hands off of me! Now go home! Stop. Go home already! Get off of me! Leave go me alone! Home. Do you know who I am? Go home, lady. Leave me Come alone! On. Don't hey, touch hey. me! Leave what me are you doing? Guys, here. what's go happening down. here? You shouldn't have drunk so much then, baby. Well, calm down. Is this your calm mom down. or what? Who's guys, she? Guys, I'm really sorry. What happened? Well, we just wanted to I apologize. I'm sorry, really. You should have looked after her better, you know? I promise. Never mind. Just take her home, man. Calm down. Calm down. She's intoxicated. Hey! Hey! She's nuts, then. Lealia! Lealia, stop! Stop, Lealia! Oh, that stupid girl. Oh, call an ambulance. Oh. Oh. Oh, my lord. Lealia. Lealia, dear. Oh, my God. Hold on. Hold on. Well, oh my god. Oh my dear. Hold on. Oh. Oh. Uh. Uh. Lealia. Lealia, dear, can you hear me? Where's her pulse? Uh. Oh. Oh. Oh, she's alive. She's alive. Hey! Hey! You called an ambulance? They're on their way! Uh-huh. Thank you. Thank you. Thank God. Oh. Oh. Hurry up. Hurry up. What happened? Faster. Her. What's She's alive. wrong with She's her? She's unconscious. Oh, she's drunk. Everything's clear. We should take an x-ray. She might have some broken bones. Bring the stretcher. Oh, my lord. This girl was lucky. She was lucky we were nearby. Do you know her? Yes, it's Elena Alina. Where are you taking her? To the district hospital. Uh-huh. Pick her up. All right. Now be very careful. Let's take it up all at once. One, be careful with her head. It's obvious. She failed to control the car at the turn. Is that it right there? Yes, I was going to the estate and, and I saw Your it. name and your surname, please. Nina Simokin. I'm working at the Ilian's house. Shall we call the tow truck? Yeah, do it. Tomorrow, please come to the police station to give your testimony, ma'am. I'll draft the report by then for you. Yes, of course. Stop it. Come on, She's please. She's denying it. You're a murderer. You, you're a witch. Mrs. Ilyina. She almost killed my daughter. Make her leave. What for? Make her. You see, Mrs. Ilyina stated that at the time of the accident, the car was driven by Nina Samokin. So you were the driver in this accident. But I was not driving the car. I, I wasn't even around. I was not driving. She'll tell you now. Get her out of here. Get her out of my sight. Oh, take her out. I never want to see her again. It was not my fault. We'll figure it out eventually. Let's go. Uh, we'll figure it out. Mrs. Ilyina, calm down, I beg you, please. How can I calm down when she almost killed my daughter? Oh, put her in jail. I'll do everything I can, but you must understand, by law, we have no right, so to speak, to... I don't care about your damn law. 
I say put her in jail. <gasps> I'll do my best. Now you're saying the right thing. <gasps> Nina. Stefan, call Mr. Ilian. Tell him I'm not guilty. Go ahead. Against the wall. Get in. Don't be scared, don't be scared, I don't bite. Well, uh, uh, this is some place. Uh, why have they grabbed you? You seem to be a decent woman. Not a tramp, not a thief. <laughs> Are you a confidence trickster? <laughs> hey. <laughs> Hey, friend, why are you crying? <laughs> oh. Oh. Little by little. Now, like this, now I'll cover you. Mom, where's my Here hippo? Just a second, my sweet girl, just a second, my oh. good girl. Now, honey, now. Oh. Here's your hippo. Now he'll embrace you. Here you go. Yes. Mom, I want to eat something. Lealia. But what should I bring you? But you're on a diet, I thought. Oh, whatever. Hell with the diet. I want a... a large bowl of soup. A large piece of meat and three slices of bread and sweet, sweet tea. Okay, okay. One minute. One I hear minute. someone's asking for some soup and meat. I guess you're alive. Oh, how fast you've come. Thank the Lord. I took my deputy's car. How are you? My headaches. Mm -hmm. And my hand, too. Thank God, though. Her ribs are intact, and her legs, too. Yeah, you were lucky. I've seen that ditch where you landed. It was pretty deep. And where is Nina? With the police. I told them to sue her, the murderer. Who is the murderer? What kind of murderer? What are you saying? Lialia, thank God, is alive, all in one piece. Arms and legs are safe. Her head's empty. What if she had killed your daughter? Do you feel sorry for your new romantic interest? You're an idiot, my dear. As they say, the one born a fool is never cured. You old Lovelace. Mom, are you going to give me something to eat? Yes, just a second, just a second, my dear. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Are you handling the case of Nina Samokin? Hmm. Yes, I am. I'm the one handling it. Well, what do you have with regard to her detention? Um, with regard to the detention, we have a claim of the victim, Elena Ilyina, your daughter. The victim, my daughter, is already at home and doing very well. Can I look at the claim she submitted to you? Mm-hmm. Uh, here. The circumstances of the case. I'm taking it with me. But it is to be done in person. They should have warned you. Yes, of course. Go ahead. It's within your rights.
Samokin, you can come out. Nina, I'd like to ask you to stay on. I promise this won't happen again. No, Mr. Ilian. I can't stay any longer. <sighs> Stefan, I'll just go get my things. Mm -hmm. You come into this house again. Get out of here right now. My dear. Ah, ah, Don't you dare. Let me go. Come with me. What are you doing? Mikael, let me go. Let me go. You'd better ask your daughter how she got drunk and dared to drive the car being under the influence. Under the legal age, no less. Thank God she didn't kill anyone. And you, Trash, forget about England. You'll go to a secondary school in Shumsk where they'll be sure to teach you how to act properly. Mom. What's with Mom now? That's cruel, Mika. I am so cruel. Yeah, and yet it's the truth, all right? <laughs> Let me help you with that. Thank you. Nina, please hold on. You forgot the money. It's two weeks' salary and... Compensation for emotional distress. No, Mr. Ilian, I'm not taking any money. Please take it. No, thank you. I'm so sorry, Nina. Give it to her. <sighs> Nina, you... You have a daughter, a granddaughter. You'll make good use of it. That's a good girl. Where shall we go? I don't know. I'll decide along the way. Sounds good. Nina, if you need anything, please call me. Thanks, I will. Goodbye, thanks. Goodbye. And good luck.
waiting for someone, huh? my dear. I am. My daughter. Uh-huh. Uh, what's her apartment? I might know her. The sixth. The sixth. Oh. Natasha? Our young yard mm -hmm. keeper? Mm-hmm. You have a good daughter. She's very good. Everything is well taken care of. She's a good worker. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah. Natasha! Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Mom, what are you doing back here? Waiting for you. Mom, I'm sorry. I have no time now. Alexi's coming home soon. Is it coming to stay for long? I don't know. Natasha, I want to see Masha. Well, you'd better not. I can barely keep her happy. She doesn't like it in the kindergarten. Oh. I'm sorry. Goodbye. Do you have enough money? Well, not really. My salary isn't high, and I barely have enough to pay for the kindergarten. Alexei doesn't help you? Well, he gave me some of the money after he invested the rest. That's all we have now. I knew it. Don't give this money to Alexei. Don't even show it to him. Mom, thank you. I must go, otherwise Alexei will see you. Well, you understand. Of course I do. Mm-hmm. Hey, Mom, where are you going now? I don't know. I'll return home. There's no work here. I'll go back to the factory. Will you go, go, go? Go on. I'm so sorry. That's okay. Larissa, I'm leaving now. I'm running late. Nikolai, I'm not feeling very well. Well, then go to bed. I'll call the doctor on the way. What doctor? Doctors from the maternity hospital don't make house visits. A GP from the hospital will only prescribe you aspirin. You have to go there yourself. If you hadn't sold the car, Larissa, we agreed not to raise this issue. All right. But you're at it again now. Here's some money. Take a taxi. And go get looked at. Hmm. Okay. Goodbye. Hello? Hi. I'm already fed up with this situation. He hasn't filed the application with the registry office, and he gives me money one dollar at a... No, he hasn't guessed. Why? Well, I, I lost my baby and that's it. He had no time to even notice. You know what scenes I was making? Then I had an unbelievable depression. I deserve a drama award. Honey, when are we going to meet? Hmm. What if we don't distract you from your work? Well, today I feel very bad. <laughs> I can come to have an appointment with you, doctor. Okay. See you soon. Bye. I'm glad you come to see me. Really? 
There is even a mineral water pump room here. Can you imagine? Wow, that's incredible. It's a nice place. You did right that you left the Iliad. Hey, Good, Good afternoon. afternoon. Hello, hi. The day. Well, they're not the only employers in the world, you know. Well, sure. And now we can try to find something better for you. Ah. Miss Pavlova. Ah. So good to see you, Mrs. Rapina. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Pavlova, my dear. Hello, <laughs> good my afternoon. dear. How Hello are there. You? Uh, Miss Pavlova, <laughs> yes. I've heard that you're looking for a person in charge of linens. Yes, we are. Yeah? I've got someone, Nina Zamokin. So why is she standing there like an orphan? Let her come closer. She's a really good person. Uh-huh. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How old are you? 42. It will do. Follow me. Huh? Who is she? The housekeeper of the health resort. Go catch up to her. Uh -huh. I'll see Alex and wait for you there in the gazebo. All now, right. Go, 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 go. Ah, a divorce, huh? A drunk. No, someone younger. What a jerk. Mine was drinking. You know I kicked him out straight to hell. Do you have children? A daughter and granddaughter. Really? That's nice. Mm-hmm. You had a child very young. A fast girl. <laughs> I've already dismissed four such fast girls. They put in the linen for sale and sold it for half the price. Entrepreneurs, oh, well, they were useless. Totally useless. What can you do? Do you know anything about keeping records and storage? Yes, I worked at a factory and kept records of tools there. Oh, well then. Work of the linen keeper is about the same. To monitor sending the linens and dressing gowns to the laundry. You'll be in charge of receiving and ironing them, if necessary, uh -huh. and monitoring whether it's damaged. Hmm? Would you be fine with such work? Yes. Well, all right. Wait for me in the park and I'll consult the medical director. Hmm? Nina. How was it? Have they hired you? I don't know. Miss Pavlova has gone to talk to the medical director. I must wait. <sighs> Alexander. Look who it is. Recognize her now? This is Nina. She was visiting that day when you... Uh, uh... Yes, I do. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Mom, I packed everything I brought. I have a doctor appointment. Goodbye. Yes. Lord, the hospital sent him here for follow-up care. He's feeling badly now. A young man. No work. No family. A year ago, he was honorably dismissed from the army. At the age of 45, he's already retired. Samokin, I've been looking for you. Welcome to your job. Uh -huh. <laughs> so come with me. I'll describe your responsibilities and show you the storeroom. Thank you, Vera. Well, how are you? Are you comfortable? Yes. Well, you're welcome. Here's the schedule we have. Breakfast is at six. Mm-hmm. And after breakfast is finished, mm -hmm. you come to my office, I'll give you assignments for the day. Is that clear? I got it. You got it? You have an alarm clock? I'll wake up without it. I have an alarm oh, clock here. Oh, my dear. <laughs> <laughs> okay, my dear. When you sleep somewhere new, you see your new husband. Oh, well. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Get some rest. <laughs> Thank you. Hello? Alexi? Good evening. Uh, could I talk to Natasha? What? 
Uh, tell her that I just got a job with a military health resort. Hello? Hello? Mm. Here you are. Mm -hmm. Here you are. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Nina. Good. Why, hello. Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon. How are you doing today? I'm better than anyone. How are you, Mr. Mikhailov? Not bad, you know. They've repaired my engine, you know. I'm going mm. home tomorrow. Congratulations. Thank you so much. What about you, Mr. Ivanov? Thank you, honey. I'm doing much better. Well, thanks, God. Enjoy your stay. Thank you so much. Ah, uh, Mrs. Samokin is so very pretty. Yes, she sure is. Hello, Nina. Can I help you? Hello, Seriosa. Let me help you, please. It's no, heavy. Thanks. Come on, please. No, no, I can't do it. You aren't supposed to. Good afternoon, Mr. Evan. Good afternoon. Okay, so at six, first go to the library. You take the curtains from the windows. Follow me. Let's go here. And then after, you go to my office, and I'll tell you what to do after that. Got it? Good morning. I think your name is Nina? Yes, Nina. Remember your mother introduced us? Yes, I remember. I see. You have a lot of work. Yes, there's a lot of work. Um, do you get tired? Well, it depends. I used to get tired, and now I'm used to it. Yeah. When you ask a young soldier a couple months into his service, he usually answers, I got used to it. You know better. Um. <laughs> Girls, are there many of them left? No, not many. Huh? Not many. It, honey. Alexi? Shut up and listen, chick. Tell your idiot husband that if he doesn't bring the loot in time, we'll talk to him a different way. I hope you understand me. Tell him he has a week before we come for him. You tell him. <gasps> Who is this? It doesn't matter. What loot? Where's Alexi? I said he has a week. If we don't get the money, then we'll visit you. Remember that. <laughs> He's gone. I haven't been able to find him for two days. I don't know where mom is either. Her phone is off. Natasha, tell me very Dad. clearly what happened with you guys. Wait, I don't understand. How did he disappear? Okay, listen to me. <clears throat> listen carefully. Drop it all, take a ticket, and come here right away. Yes, of course, together with Masha. What do you mean? You have no money? Well, what a scoundrel. Ah. Don't go out in the streets in the evening. I know what happens when those people threaten you. Then call and find out 
when the next train is and how much the ticket is. I'll send you the money. <laughs> Natasha, honey, don't cry, I beg you. Okay, I'm waiting for your call, you hear me? <sighs> My daughter's in trouble. No one knows where Nina is. I told my daughter to come here. Well, yes, your daughter's in trouble, and we're having a holiday. Mr. Samokin is celebrating losing our baby. That's it. He owes nothing to no one. He'll send money to his daughter, and then she'll come over here. Come on, tell me to go back to the dormitory. I'll do it. I might have lost our baby because you didn't go to the registry office. You kept putting off taking care of me. <laughs> Throw me in the garbage, just like you did with your ex-wife. <laughs> Larissa, are you out of your mind? This is my daughter. I can't ignore her problems. My dear daughter? And who am I? A mistress, which can be kicked out at any time. What have you done to me? <laughs> Larissa, Larissa, calm down. Stop crying. Stop it. As soon as you feel better, we'll go to the registry and they can marry us straight away, sweetheart. I don't want to. Larissa, I promise you. I don't want anything. <laughs> oh! Oh, my Lord. Oh. Yes, yes, come in, please. Huh? Good morning. Oh, good morning, Mr. Reppin. Can I help you? Do you have the key to the library? Yes? Oh, yes, I Can have, Can I use but... it? Mr. Reppin, I can't give you the key. But I'll finish in a minute and definitely go with you to the library. Don't worry, there's no rush. Thank That's you. That's fine, then. Miss Pavlova, what's the matter? It's just unbearable. I'm afraid to touch the iron. But why? It's not safe. A circuit blew out, and I would repair it myself if I could. Well, I don't want to bother stop, you. Stop, but... stop, 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 Nina. We aren't alone here. Oh, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. What's going on here? My goodness, why are you so agitated? I already told Oleg about it. He's on vacation, but in his spare time, he's installing the sound system in the assembly hall. When he's free, he'll come around. Nina, if you'd like, I could take a look. Mr. Reppin, well, the thing is, we are in a military establishment. Order is order. Wiring in the storeroom should be done by an electrician and not a lieutenant colonel staying here for treatment. Nina, that's all. Mm-hmm. Mr. Reppin, let's go to the library, shall we? And forget about all that. Where's the key? Huh? <laughs> now let's go. You see, Mr. Reppin, Nina is a truly wonderful woman. She's so nice. Everyone here loves her, but she does not understand about subordination. For her, it doesn't matter whether you're a young lieutenant or a colonel or a general. She must be like this because her husband was a big boss, you know. Was, was he dismissed? No, he wasn't. He wasn't dismissed. She left him, you know. You say she left him? Well, yes. She got bored of living with him, so she left him. And now she's desperate. She doesn't have a good job or a place to live. Nina, I'm going to be released soon. Will you come with me? Seriosa, you have a mother who is my age. You should look for a younger girlfriend, okay? <laughs> Can I help you? Mr. Reppin, thank you, but please don't. The head nurse will see you and I'll get in trouble. Please, really. Why are you so afraid of everything? Right away, you're already nervous. Do you think I don't see how you look at the housekeeper? And how's that? Like a rabbit at a boa constrictor. Do you have such an enviable position that you're petrified of losing it? I know that in the past, you showed considerable courage. Mr. Reppin, I don't understand what you're talking about, but I think... Tell me, Nina, I'm just wondering why wives leave their healthy husbands, or was your husband disabled like me? Hold on right there. What do you know about me? Do you even know what I've gone through? When everyone, literally all people who make up the meaning of your life betray you? I was thrown out like an old used dishcloth, and at 40, I became homeless. I don't know where I'll spend the night tomorrow. And all my property is a suitcase of clothes. Do you know what that feels like? Well, do you? I didn't know. 
I'm sorry, I... I thought that... You thought. You only think about yourself and your own misfortunes. While well, you'd better think about your mother. Excuse me, I have to work. Nina, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry, I... I behave like the biggest egoist. Please forgive me, I didn't mean to offend you, honestly. Well, okay then, I accept your apology. I really have to work, so goodbye. Andre, I feel sick and feverish. Will you will you uh -huh. cover for me? Would you do me that favor, huh? Well, of course, no problem. I think you should go to the hospital to see a doctor. <coughs> you aren't going to get better. <coughs> it seems that your Larissa doesn't take good care of you. You know she hasn't been very well either. I'm sure you understand. Just help me out here. Ah, poor Nikolai. You exchanged a princess for a stupid bimbo. That's what I'll tell you. Well, okay. Go get some treatment. <coughs> Don't be afraid. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's easy for you. There are two of them inside of me. <coughs> Everything's going to be fine. <coughs> well, I hope. Have you talked to the doctor? Just not like last time, ask about everything in detail. There's a lot you don't know. Excuse me, miss. Where's ask the therapist's office? Ask the reception. Office? They can help you there. Thanks. She's in a hurry. I'm sure she's... Thanks for all your help. I hope they call us in soon. I'm ready to go back home. <coughs> oh, you're my little fool, aren't you? Why do you need all this? Well, if he were rich or an oligarch, I would understand, but... He's neither fish nor fowl. Well, love, you wouldn't leave your old witch. No. Mm -hmm. And he left his. Just wait, I'll make him move to Moscow. Really? To mm -hmm. Moscow? And you will also oh. live... Yeah, and you will live oh, in this nowheresville. <laughs> hey, hey, don't bite me. No, mm. no, no, don't mm -hmm. bite me. No, mm -hmm. my mother Okay, will she be stuff. nagging you? Well, let her nag you. Why should I be the only victim? <laughs> oh, I lost it. I've lost our little baby. Oh, Nikolai. Oh. What are you, yeah. why are you here? Uh, you, uh, uh, this uh, is my doctor. Yeah, uh, sort it out of the earth. Uh, 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 what are you doing? I'll kill you no, both. No, laugh, call, call I'll police. kill you. Uh, you so wretch. Working. How could you? Uh, of my you business. Wretch. Laugh, no, please. No. Uh, <coughs> laugh, laugh, don't leave. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <sighs> yes, yes. Come on in. Oh. Alexander Rippon. Good evening. Good evening. Well, uh, come in, sit down. Would you like some tea? No, thank you anyway. Nina, you see, I've been thinking about our conversation. I don't know what happened with you, but I do understand. Misfortune. My mother, she really likes you very much. Hmm. And in general, everyone likes you. I'd like to propose to you. Well, in a word, we should get married. Uh for your registration. Oh. Then it would be easier for you to find a good job. Uh-huh. And settle down in Moscow. So, what do you say? You can stay with us until you get settled. So, what do you think? Well, Alexander, thank you. Of course, uh, for your offer to help me. But don't you know that now marriage isn't necessary for registration? What? Yeah. The owner of the real estate can give consent. I didn't know that. So we don't need to marry. And I don't need to get settled anywhere else. I'm settled here, and I like it. But anyway, thank you. Not at all. Don't mention it. I see. The idea of marrying me is frightening to you. I'm so sorry that I've bothered you. Alexander, well, dear, well, 
Well, you didn't understand me, right? Uh, well, please try to understand. It's the right place for me here. I don't need Moscow right now. Well, well, don't be offended. Once again, I'm sorry. Goodbye. The linen keeper. Her light's on, but she's not there. Oh, my Lord. I don't know. What's wrong, Miss Pavlova? The linen storeroom is on fire. We've already called firefighters. The linen storeroom. And Nina? Nina? Where's Nina? Her room is open. The light is on, but she's not there. We haven't been able to find her. Where are you going? Be careful. Okay, I'll take the bags. Where are you going? You might hurt your spine. Lieutenant Colonel Reppin, stop. Mr. Reppin. Reppin. Mr. Reppin. Reppin. Firefighters, over there. Over there, the linen storeroom's on fire, a gray building, near the water tower. Right over there. Thank God. Thank goodness. Oh, oh Lord. Oh, my God! Anybody got, else got, in got, there? All right, guys, let's get right, started. Get, get yeah, in there. And you, Mr. Yeah, Reppin, what go. happened? All right, guys, what happened? Lord, who's All that? Right. You're going to be okay. Is she okay? Nina. 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 All right, we're good. Nina. Reppin, Nina. how's your back? Get She's out of here. Breathing. Nurse assistance. Mr. Stretch Sergeyev. Here. Mr. Sergeyev. Nina. Nina. There's a pulse. Nina, can you hear me? Nina. This is poisoning, carbon monoxide poisoning. <laughs> Both of them to the emergency room right now. Oh, Mr. Sergeyev. Yeah, get her first. Mr. Sergeyev, let me help. Careful with her. Please, please be careful with her. Alexei. Alexei, oh, thank God. I didn't know what to think. Your phone was off. You didn't answer it. <sighs> Put our dinner on the table. We have to talk. <sighs> it's bad, Natasha. Our attempt cheated me. He turned out to be some criminal. Wait, what do you mean, cheated? What about my mom's money? What well, money? There's no money. There's nothing. 
Wait, Alexi. Alexi, we must do something. Alexi, we must call the police. Uh-huh, police. He's a former policeman. So why did they call me today? Threatened me. They say that you owe them a bunch of money. Well, they won't threaten you anymore if you behave right, you know. <sighs> what does that mean, to behave right? That's what it means, girl. All in all, I gave them the apartment. I've transferred the title to them. You understand what that means? Otherwise, we wouldn't be here at all. We'd be dead. <sighs> but what apartment? This one. This apartment. Our apartment. Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? Hello? Militia? Well, yes, the police. Stop! Are you out of your mind? Give that to me. Are you an idiot, huh? They'll kill all of us today and we'll disappear forever, you hear me? Don't yell, Masha's asleep. My absence will be noticed and Masha's too. I have a father and a mother. I was kicked out when I was a child. What the hell are you talking about? Who kicked out her own mother, Natasha, huh? Now she's working at some military health resort. She'll drop everything and come running to save you. Yeah, fat chance. Don't bet on it, all right? Your father's not gonna help you either, girl. He doesn't care about you at all. So shut up. Tomorrow, pack your things and move to your father's. I'm sure you'll get by real good. And you? I'll go somewhere too, you know? Well, they won't look for me. Or do you suggest that I fall into your father's neck too, huh? Like, pass me some bread. Oh, damn you. Mama. Oh. Yes, son. Mom. And Nina, how is she? You shouldn't talk, Alexander. Why are you looking at me like that? You could have died in that fire. Mom, could you find out, please? I dreamed a vivid dream. She was sitting next to me. But it turns out it was you. It wasn't me. Actually, it was her. Mm -hmm. I didn't know anything. I got a call yesterday. If only I had known that. I would have flown here on wings. I was so worried. I don't blame her, no. Mm. I'm just grumbling because of your burns. Alexander, mm -hmm. she's actually a good woman. As soon as she recovered, she immediately asked to be your caretaker. You should take a closer look at her, huh? <laughs> Honestly, I found her a job here for a reason, you know. <laughs> Mom. What? Did I say something funny? Oh, Mom. And you know, I... I proposed to her. <gasps> no, no, you misunderstood, Mom. I offered her a fake marriage so she could be registered in Moscow. You know I had a hidden agenda, too. And? Mom, it turns out no one wants me, even as a fake husband. Mm. Only the motherland needed me. And also my mother. Mm. Yes, come in. Good morning. I've come for a minute to see how you are. So, Alexander, do you need anything? And, well, I wanted to thank you. You were injured because of me, and I don't know how to thank you. Thank you, Alexander. We don't need anything, we have everything. And Alexander has people to take care of him. You thanked him. Mom. Nina, you can help me out. I still can't see totally clearly. Mm. And I'm not used to lying around all day. Could you come back and read aloud some library books? For me sometime, I'd be grateful. Of course, with pleasure, whenever you want. Okay, agreed. My mom can't always be here. She needs some rest too. And I don't want to ask nurses. They already have a lot of work. I know how busy they are. 
Hmm. Of course. I'll come to see you later on. I consulted some attorneys, and in general, it's not good. Mom, can I go run a little? Of course, but stay so I can see you. Of course, we'll try to get the apartment back. Mom and I have the documents. You see? It's okay, Dad. Mom and I... Dad. Oh, Natasha, Natasha, you and I were so wrong. We have all the financial documents from when we bought you the apartment. Mm -hmm. And this hubby of yours wrote a fake paper on your behalf that, that you would pledge the apartment. I think we have a chance. Well, I, I think that you should still leave, all right? to visit us. Soon, soon, soon. Soon, my dear. You must miss her, right? <laughs> you need to leave, all right? Because it's dangerous to be alone here. So pack your things and come home. We should talk with your mom. Only where can... Where can we look for her? I think I know where. She called and told Alexi. She was working at a health resort. She called and he answered the phone. We could try calling all health resorts in Moscow. We might get lucky and find her that way. Dad, what do you think? Dad? What do you think? Will she ever forgive us? I don't know, daughter. I wouldn't be forgiving if I were her, you know? <laughs> but she's an extraordinary person, and so... She'll forgive us if we ask nicely. They could only hear the creak of the crickets and frogs in the distance the rooster. He gave his horse sleepy cock-a-doodle-doo. And that's the end of the chapter. Shall we go on? Or do you think you have to rest? Thanks, Nina. That's enough for today. I'm not tired, but you might be tired. My mother hasn't been in to see me today. Should I go find her? No, thank you. Hmm. Let's just talk a little. Hmm. Of course, sounds good. And you know, Mrs. Rapina said that you can start getting up and around today and try walking in a spinal brace. She wants you to walk a little bit. Ah, uh, she wishes that I was totally helpless and she could take care of me like a baby. Oh, Alexander. Nina, how old are you, if it's not a secret? 42, why? I'm 45. So what? Tell me, why do you constantly speak to me so formally? Do I... I look so old? You could also call me Lieutenant Colonel. Just out of respect. Listen here. Since I speak to you informally, you should do the same. Just treat me like a friend. Let's forget the, the formalities. Just call me Alex. All right. Nina, is there something you want to ask me? Yes. Tell me, Alex. Why is Mrs. Rapina angry with me? I really like her. I'm grateful to her, but I... I feel uncomfortable. Indeed, Nina. You're a special kind of person. You don't know what you're to blame for, but you're ready to ask for forgiveness. Just an angel, honestly. I'll tell you why she's angry. Because I want to save you. She'd be angry with anyone. For her beloved son, she's very protective of me. Though maybe, after anesthesia, I said something I shouldn't have. She got offended. She thinks that you disdain her little son. What did you tell her? I offered to marry you, for you to be registered. Oh. Oh. Yes. I can imagine what she thinks about me. Yes, come in. Samokin. Hmm? Uh, hello, Mr. Reppin. Hello. Samokin. Your relatives have arrived. Who? Who else? Your daughter, granddaughter, and your husband. Oh, Lord. Oh. Oh, Good my day. God. Oh. Good day.
Mrs. Rapina, you should understand that therapy is not everything. Mm. It is important that a person wants to recover himself and... Well, I've been watching Alexander for a long time and I've got the impression that he just gave up himself and his life. Well, I don't know, he could teach at a military school with his military experience, write a thesis. Uh, I mean, he is really bright. <laughs> yes. I understand everything, Mr. Sergeyev. But he suffered a serious injury. Uh, then retirement, then his wife left. She took the child away. It was a lot for him to mm -hmm. handle. And he decided for himself that he was only meant to work as a gatekeeper. Then nah. he'd better be a pensioner. He says he doesn't need anything at all. You know, maybe it's not very pleasant for you to see, but lately I've seen positive dynamics in Alexander's condition. And this is not only due to a successful operation, but, but also to that woman, Nina. Yes. I also know about this. I even tried to leave them alone. Alexander even proposed to her. She laughed at him. Mm-hmm. No. No, not the proposal. But the fact that she laughed at him, I really doubt that. No. No. In my opinion, this woman is a surprisingly clean and honest person. It's impossible. I'm afraid, Mrs. Rapina, you have misunderstood something here. Oh, Masha! Beaver! Oh, hello, Beaver! hello, my darling. Oh, how much I've missed you. I've missed you so much. Mwah. Mwah. Mom, hello. Hello, Natasha. I'm very glad to see you. I mean it. Are you doing okay? I thought your husband wouldn't tell you I was here, but he must have told you. Mom, don't talk about him. I'm going to divorce him. I know that now. Mom. Mom, please forgive me. Mom, Mom, I'm really, really ashamed of myself. I forgive you. I forgive you, my daughter. I forgive you. I forgave you long ago. Well, I understand everything. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, I really understand it. Shh, 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 shh. Let's go to my place. We'll talk. You'll tell me everything, okay? Nina. Nikolai? Well, what do you want from me? I backed down on everything. I signed all of the documents. I've come to take Natasha back to my place. Don't your wife and baby mind? And why should you take her to your place? First, she has her own apartment. And secondly, northern climate's not good for Masha. Mom, I have no home anymore. Alexei lost our apartment. And now the collection agency owns it. Nina, I understand. I don't deserve it and can't be forgiven. Believe me, I've already been punished to the full. But we really need you. Grandma, look at this doll that Grandpa gave me. A beautiful doll. Really. Masha and Natasha need you. You should help them settle down and make them feel comfortable in our house. Nina, well, these are our children. Will you abandon them? Yes, of course, I know. Our children. No, of course, I won't.
Alexander, I don't understand. First is one thing, and now we're leader, it's different. You can't do this after all. They called you from the academy, invited you to work there. As soon as you get well, you can start. You see, they have appreciated your, your knowledge and hard work. Who am I talking to? Mom. I feel better now, and I don't need permanent care. I don't need anything at all. I beg you, go home. Just go home already. You have no right to behave this way. So many people worked hard to put you on your feet so that you could recover. People without hands, without legs, by the way, find their place in life. And you are quite a young man. Mom, enough. I'm begging you, just go home. All right. Don't do it for me. Do it for Nina. All right, then. Nina, forget her. Well, Lieutenant Colonel Reppin, I've heard you've been lured away from me. To tell you the complete truth, I wanted you to stay here. I need a smart deputy. You've seen it. I don't have the time to do everything. Thank you, Mr. Sergeyev. For some reason, I'm just showered with charity today. All kinds of charity. As far as I understand you, no, it's not the right time, I suppose. We'll continue this another time, then. Nina, dear, how are you? You gave us quite a scare. We thought you were seriously hurt. My state of health is excellent, Comrade General. I promise it won't happen again. OK, good luck to you. Well, thank <laughs> you. Hello, Mrs. Rapina. Well, good afternoon. Good afternoon and goodbye. I'm leaving from I Moscow. wanted to tell you, I am very, very grateful to you. I really mean that. I don't know what I'd have done without your help. And if you ever need any help with anything, please call me. I'll do anything for you. I don't understand how you can say these things at all. In an evil hour, I met you on the bus. I could have never imagined that you would offend my Alexander so much. He had had enough emotional traumas. What happened? Please explain to me. Don't you understand? After you left, he just sits there and looks at one point, doesn't eat anything, doesn't drink anything. You have no conscience, that's what. Explain to me clearly what's going on. Miss Pavlova told me everything. What? You're going back to your husband. You've forgiven him, this scoundrel. I couldn't understand what was happening to my Alexander. That's okay. People have explained everything to me. Miss Pavlova, right? Yes. Yes, my husband and daughter came to see me. We talked. They have serious problems. I promised to help them. They're my family. I'll never abandon them. But I'm not going back. I started a completely different life. And why, Alexander? Uh, what? Oh. You don't understand, do you? You're just like a child. You don't see anything. Uh, yes, he fell in love with you, you stupid girl. Sergeyev, was Mr. Reppin transferred? Good afternoon, Nina. I forgot your surname. I'm sorry about that. Haven't you... Haven't you left yet? Alexander, won't you please tell me? How could I have left you? We haven't read the book to the end yet. Don't you realize that? You... you I thought that... I'm, I'm sorry, for God's sake. I, I urgently need to go. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, to, to, to the psychotherapy room. Uh, we'll sort this out on your own, will you then? <sighs> Nina. Nina, you know, I'm, I'm staying on here. I have a job. Uh huh. Mr. Sergeyev offered me the position of deputy. Do you remember, well, what I offered you? To get married. 
My offer is still valid. I haven't withdrawn it. Um, to be registered? No. Hmm? For life, Nina. For happiness. Hmm. <laughs> 